Hi, um, June 14th. Um, it's 9.20 right now. Um, my surgery went well. Recovery is going well. Um, thank you for all the messages and the um, phone calls, everything. I'm doing good. Uh, the only... I had some respiratory problems during surgery so my doctor has me he's there observing my co2 levels um, with that machine there which right now is really good they said uh, and I got this and I have to arrest he had a respiratory therapist come out and see me um, my back pain I have been having a lot of back pain but the medication helps I don't have a pain pump um, they said they could do it if it gets unmanageable the pain but I'm trying to just stay on the liquid um, pain medication what else is happening um, I was gonna be given food but I haven't been able to swallow much um, I think I just let me show you so they gave me this cup and it's less than halfway full but I couldn't um, I can't drink it they tried giving me cold water warm water cold water my stomach does not like it starts um, bubbling um, but I can drink like room temperature water and warm water, so that's good. Um, yeah, the doctor surgeon had originally said I can stop start my soft, no, my whole liquid. So they had ordered a plate for me, but because of that, they canceled it and um, they added an extra day for me to stay at the hospital. So today, um, my goal was to urinate and to walk around the nurse's station at least three times which I did um, I had a couple visitors my one of my good friends actually came and she stayed with me all day she was here before I even got out of uh, recovery um, it just means so much for me for her to be here she was able to message my mom and throughout the day and let her know, giving her updates of how I was doing. I slept most of the day. Uh, it's so weird, I was waking up and I had so much energy and I was bubbly and smiling and, and all of a sudden I'd be talking and then I would just fall back asleep. Um, but my recovery is going well. My incisions, let me try to show you. They look amazing. I was uh, telling my friend that I was admiring my surgeon's work because <laughs> they look really good. Let me see. Uh, if things gross you out, maybe you want to skip, but you don't really. They're not bad. So let's see. That. This one up here. This one's the biggest one. Um, my belly button. So, um, they're 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 really clean and haven't had any problems. I mostly just have um, gas pains. They wouldn't let me take the gas X. Um, one thing I would recommend that people, I wish I would have brought was, um, well, they had took care of it here, but a, heat, a heating pad, but I wish I would have um, bought one for home because I don't have one and all I keep thinking about is heating pads are what are keeping me happy right now <laughs> and I don't have any, so I might um, call my mom. Uh, my mom and my brother are going to be here on Sunday for the day. So I might call them and ask them to buy me some heating pads. Because 
They are the only thing that <laughs> make me feel really good right now. I still have a little cough, so when I cough, they have me put pressure on my stomach where the heating pads are so that it doesn't, um, my stomach doesn't move or contract too much. My robe, best thing ever because these robes here don't cover my big booty. Um, my therapist was here today and we had a good conversation. She walked around with me one of the laps and um, I guess I had posted a, a video that I meant to be happy in, letting you know that surgery was over, but I actually started crying and I was like out of control. So I deleted it because I think people were concerned, but uh, I don't remember. I, I, I came out and I was happy. And then, um, then all of a sudden I just started crying. I think I was crying because I was happy and also because I was just like, I was missing like that mama's touch, you know? Um, that was part of what I had worked on with my therapist yesterday that I keep saying I'm lonely. Clearly I'm not alone. I have my friends. I have all of you that call, text me. I have my mom, my brother, my sister, everybody um, that have checked in with me. But I, I guess what I was thinking about alone was um, no one really can replace that, um, that motherly touch or that um, maybe it's not your mom but your significant other, like just that gentle touch like a hug or caressing your hair or holding your hand and being there. So it wasn't, I'm not lonely. Um, I think I was just yearning for, you know, to feel my mom by my side, like taking care of me. <laughs> and I'm not a baby. I'm not like a spoiled brat or anything. I just, that's what I was yearning for. And so I worked a lot on that, like, positive affirmations is, you know, knowing that I'm not alone. I have people. I am strong. I can get through this. So today um, I received some beautiful flowers. Let's see if I can turn it over. Those are my flowers. And I also got, oh, I might turn this camera around again. It's a question and answer a day, 365 questions, five years, 1825. It's a five-year journal. People know that I blog and journal, but what I thought was very neat and what my therapist said was, um, today's a new beginning, so, you know, to track how things have changed through the years you put in every day has a different question let's see I'm not gonna zoom in but it says June 14 did you exercise today and then it has 20 20 20 so you can put in the year and then next day is what's your favorite gadget and we talked about how every year as we grow as we learn about ourselves we have different priorities, different needs, so she thought it would be interesting or like a nice thing for me to do to be able to look back and see how my gear changes, how this surgery changes my life, which is awesome. So far, everything I've brought, I've used. Um, I know it seemed excessive, but I'm feeling good. I, I. I wash my face, I put some lotion on, I, um, I've been using my Biotene mouth spray because I haven't been able to drink much. Um, I am on the IV and that's what's keeping me hydrated, but they don't want me to go home because of that, but I don't have anything else more to say. So thank you all for checking in with me and
I love y'all. Bye. Good night.